Welcome back to the channel. This video, I will cover over five brevity mistakes that people make. Spike versus nails, mud versus dirt, positive contact identification from GCI or AWACS when it comes to bogey versus bandit and others, ray gun calls, and naked versus clean. Not knowing the correct brevity call can create lots of misunderstandings and can get the entire flight confused and in the wrong mindset. Open up that description down below so you can see my Aviation Plus store and links to mission playlists and tutorials here on the channel. If you learned something, please comment below. I love reading comments. Enjoy the video and hopefully you learned something. See ya! Here we're going to be going over the differences between spike and nails. Some people get it mixed up and it could be devastating for others in the flight to be able to determine the difference between the two. Nails, and direction is usually afterwards, is a radar warning receiver indication of an airborne interceptor radar in search. So it's aircraft in search mode and it's just going to be on your RWR in one of the quadrants there and it's just in search mode. So this 27 over here, it's in search mode. It's not locked onto me. It's just out there and it's a nails. So it'll be like nails. That's the direction is south. So nails south 27. That would be that, that call there. Probably this guy right here. And a spiked is when, it's when they're lock onto you and you hear that long, that uh, very loud and annoying sound that you hear on your RWR and your headset and that's the that's the spiked uh, brevity call when you when you see that happening see this right here went to the inner ring right when it went to the inner ring it started to, to spike so if this is the, the spike indication it means that it's locked onto you and you should probably give it your attention when uh, it locks onto you like that there's a, a, a Nails 29, so he's not locked onto me. He might be in the middle, but he's still not locked onto, and there is spiked. So right when it when he goes to that solid tone, that's a that's a spike sound, so don't get that mixed up. Spiked and Nails are two different things. So for air-to-surface threats, there are two types of, well, three types of brevity terms. Mud, Dirt, and Singer. I'm going to go over them in order of basically a threat. So dirt is that it's in a search mode. So there's a SA-2 or SA-6 or some type of SAM in search mode. So it's only searching for targets. It's not locked on to you. And you'll just see it on the RWR. It's kind of like similar to air to air as, as nails. So m dirt is the search mode of the, the, the surface air SAM, surface air missile site. And then mud is when it's in track mode and it's tracking you. You'll hear the solid tone. It'll be priority on your RWR, and you'll know when it's when it's searching you specifically. So differences between those two should not be they, they shouldn't be confused because they're two totally different different threat um, threat priorities. So dirt is only in search mode. Mud is in track mode, and then singer is that it launched onto you. So you like Singer 6 or Singer uh, Singer 15 or Singer 2, whatever's locked onto you or launched at you, you could say that. You could give it a direction as well if you say like Singer 6 East or something along those lines. I'm going to give some examples here so you know exactly what I'm what I'm talking about. About to go trespass into this SA-2 and we'll see when when I'll get Dirt two, I'm trespassing. There, there's, there's dirt. Dirt two there. Still looking at me here. It's about the time when you want to start turning off. I'm gonna turn off here. Seems like a launch. And that's, that's mud. It's tracking me right now. That's mud two. And it went off. There's dirt. Dirt 2. And it went off. There's a launch. Flare. See it over there? So it's Singer 2. You Singer 2 North. And I'll just go off here. Flare. The next brevity term I'm going to talk about is naked versus clean. So they, they both somewhat mean the same thing. It just depends on if it's a... Uh, target of interest or just in general so clean is usually what you would use because very seldom you're naked so 
clean means that there is a uh, it's a no sensor information on a group of interests. So for saying we're going after a group of of 29s or something along those lines, you would say clean uh, once once they're once they're not either they're they're not nails and they're not spiked on you. So so clean is a is a, a certain group of interest. Uh, you might have another group that it may be 29s, but if it's that group that the whole flight's targeting on and, and focusing on, then you can call clean. Also, if there's other different aircraft, so there's a 29 and a 30, and you're focused on the 29s, and the 30s are, are doing something else, it's a clean 29s to specify what, you, what you'd want to uh, communicate throughout the flight. Same thing with SAM sites. So if you're worried about an SA-2 in a certain area, you would say clean SA-2 to specify so that everyone knows that no nothing's lock on, locked on to you. And in BMS, the target of interest or the, the emitter of interest could be locked on to one of you but not all of you. So it's important to know who, which, which person in the flight is being locked on and it's clean. So when it comes to naked, so naked means that there is, there is nothing on your RWR. So it's, it's very seldom that you'll be naked. So uh, don't get naked and confused, naked and clean confused in the inner flight there, because you could could confuse a couple people. So here I have trespassed the SA-4. They usually don't come on until you get a little closer. But I will demonstrate the the an example of clean and naked. Well, naked I can't really demonstrate, but I'll do a demonstration of what clean is. So let's say you're going in to a strike. We're about to strike this SA-4 here. And let's just pretend that's the only thing around. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff in the RWR, but our, our focus is the SA-4. Right now, I'm, I'm clean SA-4, but I have other things on here, so I am not naked, being that I have other emitters on my RWR. So there is a, a Dirt 4. So that's a Dirt 4. It's not locked onto me. It's just searching, so that's Dirt 4. I will continue to press as a singer four. I'm going to defend this this four here. Just turn away. See if I can make it lose me. And that is it's not locked on. Oh, it still is. So it's still launching at me. I'm going to turn on my my jammer here real quick. My jammer's on, and now I am clean SA four. And usually, if you if you say um, "singer SA4," it assumes that you're being launched at one. And then once you once you defeat the launch or it goes off, you could say "clean SA4." Or if you're you don't even really have to have to say SA4, you can. It's always good to. But turn around your defensive after a couple of seconds, you defeat it. You say "clean," and everyone knows that you're you're clean of that group group of interest. So still clean. Oh nope. Now it's Dirt SA4. Turn on my my ECM here so it can't lock onto me. That's 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 about mud SA4. So it's locked it's locked onto me in tracking mode, but it can't lock it can't launch because I'm in, uh, my ECM is on. So that's mud SA4. So there's something else that gets confusing that gets confused sometimes, and sometimes people misuse it and uh, not sure how to use it act use it effectively. That's uh that's ray gun when you're trying to find if someone is is um friendly or not. So ray gun is probably not the best thing to use because the radios are busy and people aren't usually paying attention to a ray gun call. So ray gun is not the first thing to use when you're unsure someone is is a friendly or not. The first thing to use would be obviously your mode four, and you would do a scan. You have fours here and they're all friendly, so there's nothing to worry about. If you have someone who is uh, spades, who is not coming back as mode four, that is blank. Doesn't doesn't mean they're enemy. It just means that they're they're unknown. And you could do a ray gun, but it's always advisable to use the, either use your TGP or your AWACS to get a, a more accurate call. Here I could use my TGP. I could see that they're F, that they are F-16s, and there's no threat here. But let's just say that they're unknown and you don't know what they are. Maybe there's a theater where there's other F-16s, enemy F-16s, so you would want to do a gray gun for some reason. Usually you would do a, a, a declare call, but let's just say you're going to do a ray gun. 
So a ray gun, you, you at least need a, a, a position. So a, a, a location. So if you say ray gun, you lock someone up, like there, there's nothing anybody could do. So some people are locked on by F-16, some people are not. Like that's really, really vague and should not be used. At a minimum, you should be you should use the bullseye. So let's say I lock onto this this person here. So I, I lock them up. I say ray gun bullseye 0047, 20,000. At least give the 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 bullseye and the altitude at like the very minimum, so people know who you're actually calling. There are some calls that your GCI may give you. I think AI might give you the same same uh, same calls here, but they're bandit. Are there bogey, bandit, hostile, and outlaw? So everyone knows what hostile means. That's it's confirmed enemy, and you have you're just about cleared to fire. In a in a in a nutshell, when it comes to out call, outlaw, it's a contact with that has met the point of origin for uh, criteria for the ROE rules of engagement. That means that it came from a direction that is that is a uh, enemy. So if it came from the north. And the AWACS knows that he would call. They would call an outlaw. Doesn't mean it doesn't mean his friend. It doesn't mean his enemy. It just means that their their uh, origin point was within the parameters of uh, the rules of engagement. So it's a good chance it's enemy, but it doesn't mean it's enemy, and it doesn't give you the right to to shoot to, to uh, fire off and engage that target. Bandit is positively identified as enemy in according in accordance with the theater ID criteria, but. It doesn't imply a direction or authority to engage it. So I think, it usually in BMS, that's that's usually a, a, a green light to, to start shooting at it. But in reality, when it comes to that, that brevity term there, it, it means that it's it's an enemy, but you don't have the, the authority to, to shoot at it yet. So a bogey is something that people get confused with bandit all the time. So a bogey is a contact that is unknown. So it has, doesn't have the AWACS or GCI, doesn't have any idea what it is so that gives you zero right to sh zero right to shoot at it a bogey is an unknown threat or unknown contact a bandit is a positively identified as enemy but you don't have the permissions to shoot at it bms usually at, that's usually a green light for to shoot at it for the most part hostile is a 100% green light it is enemy it's going to shoot you it's going to uh, try to attack you so shoot the hostiles and and uh, you have the right, you have the, the authority to shoot at hostiles. Outlaw is a contact that came from the point of origin as an enemy. So it came from the north, it came from the south. That's outlaw. It's still unknown, but it came from a direction that, that could be deemed enemy. Those brevity calls, make sure to, to read them up and be careful what you call because um, it could get very confusing. So just know your brevity terms and be careful out there.